Welcome everyone to this week's episode of The Wolf Den. This week, the highlight of the show is going to be discussing the brilliant career of number 82, Barry Wagner. What an incredible 16-year run he had through the AFL. We are also going to have AFL Rewind. We're going to talk a bunch of different playoff scenarios, and we're going to preview the Monday night game between Colorado at Arizona. Let's talk Barry Wagner, arguably the greatest player to have ever played in the Arena Football League. He was certainly, by everyone's estimation, the greatest Ironman to have ever played, a six-time Ironman of the year, and he did it consecutively. And it's just so hard to put his 16-year career into perspective, especially for the new fans, because he was on the field so much during his career that his stats are just off the charts in so many different categories. With open substitution, no player will ever define the Ironman the way that Barry Wagner did. How about this stat? Six consecutive years, Barry Wagner was the AFL Ironman of the year. Six years in a row. This guy was a flat out winner. He won three world championships and he has just been a part of some of the biggest moments in AFL history, including the Miracle Minute, which is one of the greatest comebacks in the history of the AFL. Barry Wagner managed to get two touchdowns, a two point conversion, and help stop the other team all in the final minute as they managed to steal a one point win. Now, let's go over some of the, the stats for Barry Wagner and where he ranks all time. He is number one all time in touchdowns, points, receiving yards, rushing touchdowns, all purpose yards, and forced fumbles. And he's tied for first all time, having played 16 seasons in the Arena Football League. The thing about Barry Wagner was, he was so tough. He was on the field all the time. And, you know, watching this guy play in Orlando, I got to see him play there for a little bit, and then seeing him go out to San Jose and have more success. He is the kind of guy that we'll never have again. Just with the rule changes and everything, Barry Wagner's career, unlike anybody else. And this weekend, they're going to celebrate the career of Barry Wagner and retire his jersey at the Orlando home game. And I know this is going to be an emotional night down in the jungle as they remember one of the truly great players to have ever played in the Arena Football League. Let's go back in time. AFL Rewind for this week. We're going to go back to June 11, 2006. Chicago Rush and their head coach, Mike Hoensey, taking on the Orlando Predators and Jay Gruden. Coach Hoensey had never been a part of a championship in the Arena Football League. And he rode the right arm of his starting quarterback, Matt DeRazio, superstars like Bobby Scipio and Dewan Alfonso. And Chicago got the victory 69-61, giving Coach Mike Hoensey his first ever world championship. A team that was just 7-9 during the regular season, they put it together, and they had a great overall team. They end up winning Arena Bowl 20. All right, huge matchups coming up this week. This might be the best group of games we've had on the schedule all year long. We've got a lot of the heavyweights going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. We start out New Orleans at Orlando. Huge implications for the wild card in the Southern Division. And they've got the Barry Wagner celebration, so that's going to be a great night to be in Orlando. How about this matchup? Chicago versus Georgia. Chicago can clinch home field advantage throughout the American Conference playoffs with a win. On the other side, Georgia can win the Southern Division with a win against Chicago. So lots at stake in that game between the Rush and the Force. Eastern Division matchup that's going to be key is Cleveland at Philadelphia. Cleveland broke Philadelphia's nine-game winning streak to start their season. Philadelphia looking for a little payback against Raymond Philia and the boys. But Cleveland is 8-6. and six. They have had a very difficult schedule, and that should be a pretty good matchup this weekend. Another matchup in the East, New York and Dallas. Dallas coming off the loss against Philadelphia. New York is feeling pretty good about themselves. Don't take too much time. They've got a chance to be a number four seed and host a playoff game in the opening round. And finally, Tampa Bay at San Jose. Tampa Bay absolutely has to win. San Jose's only hope to get the number one seed, Chicago's going to have to lose a couple times. So it looks like San Jose's probably going to end up getting the Western Division title. But watch out for those Arizona Rattlers. They're pretty hot right now. They are 8-6. and six, Which brings me to a preview of Monday night's matchup between Colorado and Arizona. Colorado reeling a little bit right now as they've been struggling for a long time. But never doubt the head coach, Mike Daly. He's won two world championships going up against an Arizona team. That give them some credit. I mean, they guaranteed their season ticket holders that they would get into the playoffs. They have more than delivered. Eight and six with two weeks to go. The Rattlers might be a sleeper team in the American Conference. So those are some great games to look for this weekend. Back over for the touchdown. Before we wrap things up on this week's edition of the Wolfston, another retirement to tell you about. 
Columbus's fullback linebacker Leroy Thompson is going to end his career. Leroy, one of my all-time favorite guys in the AFL. Known Leroy since my first day in the Arena Football League. And he's just a quality guy. Always knew how to work hard and play hard. And some great memories, including Leroy's World Championship in 1999. Well, thank you so much to everybody tuning in. Next week, we'll preview the final week of the season as the playoffs are rapidly approaching. We appreciate you tuning in. Take care, everybody.